Hey, time to shine. Today, Varsity Squad, it's Scott Ferguson, and I am really blessed to have one busy lady, the Fit Mama, also a really good friend of mine, Carrie Marafino. She is has the company Reps by Carrie, and Reps is an acronym for recipe, education, products, and support, and talk about support. Carrie is one that is there for you every step of the way. She went through a lot of different journeys in her life, and I can't wait to dig in and have her share them with us. The Fit Mama Carrie Marafino can transform your life and body from the inside out. Carrie can turn your struggles, doubts, and fears into the fire that fuels you by tapping into your mind and body, combining the power of mindset with her passion for helping you feel comfortable and empowered as you strive for health and fitness. Carrie helps you get unstuck and create the life and body you want. And Carrie, thank you so, so much for joining Time to Shine today. And if you could just introduce yourself to our squad. But first, what is your favorite emoji? My favorite Maybe. emoji is, this is going to sound creepy, but it's the little kissy one. Kissy one, <laughs> kissy emoji. It's just happy awesome. and it's smiling. That's my favorite. Carrie, what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue and why? Reminds me of the ocean and the uh, sky and mountains. With all, with all squad out there, with all disclosure, Carrie is kind of a neighbor about 40 miles away from me, maybe a little bit less. But we have this huge Epsom salt thing just to the east of us called the Atlantic Ocean. And both Carrie and I are kind of drawn to, to that. It's great healing. And most of the mornings you'll find Carrie doing Facebook Lives and whatnot with the camera on the ocean or on the water. And she's getting after it. So... Carrie, again, welcome, and tell us a little Thank bit of you. origins of where you started to get well, to where you're at. Let's see. It really started, I always had a passion for nutrition, which started in college and, you know, through my teenage years and continued through college, um, but I didn't start working out or lifting weights until I got to college, and my college roommates basically you know, kind of dragged me along with them. And I went <laughs> and I fell in love with it because I never saw any results in my body until I started lifting weights and putting on some muscle. So I really liked that part of it. And then um, after I, you know, left that support system of my group of friends going to the gym, I really struggled a bit, you know, with going into the gym and getting bored. I would do classes and things, but if I didn't have a plan or something to do, I would get bored and I would you know, say, oh gosh, do I really, I lost my 10 pounds, you know, I'm in shape, right. do I have to keep doing this? I think I was like a lot of people where I just said, really, did, did the people that look healthy, do they keep doing this? Because I think I'm done. And <laughs> until I got, um, until I got pregnant and had my kids, then I really got back into um, lifting and being consistent. And I think what made a difference is I finally found what I love to do. Uh, yeah. which is CrossFit and HIIT workouts and things like that. But I like to be around that group atmosphere and be around the people. So yeah, I noticed that you're very community oriented in the fitness world. And for the squad that's listening, HIIT is high intensity interval training, correct? Correct. So that's really kind of taking your heart rate up, kind of bringing it down, spiking it, which really spikes the fat burning. Am I correct yes. with that? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. And if you're watching on video, you can see this lady's pretty well put together. And if you see in your videos, <laughs> you. she's a total savage. And we say that in the most affectionate way <laughs> in the fitness world, because, you know, as a lot of the listeners out there know that I kind of live it as well. So Carrie is the epitome of that. And so Carrie, what was the moment where I understand you had your children and you really wanted to level up your life to stay fit yourself. And, you know, the, it speaks for itself with, with your physique. What made you, what was the aha moment to say, listen, I'm going to pay it forward and help others level up? Um, I think just watching people at the gym who were in similar situations to me, you know, they had 30 to 50 pounds to lose like I did. And it's really hard, especially when you're going into CrossFit or any, you know, anything that's new, really, you know, to be consistent. So I think where I wanted to really start helping people was when I, I saw me in them and I could really relate to what was going on and help them, you know, first focus on, you know, the weightlifting or the exercise and then work on nutrition. You know, if you kind of try to do everything all at once, I think it gets overwhelming for people. Gotcha. And even with your acronym with reps, I think the R really is the most important because no matter how hard you train, if what you're putting in fueling your body 
is not on point, you're really not going to see the differences, especially as we get older, you know, right? right? So <laughs> yes, I, see, bit, I have noticed harder, that. Yeah, harder <laughs> to take care of. So what is, what, what do you, where do you get your recipes, if you will? Like, where do you find them? Do you have like a collaboration of mastermind of people? You pick them up I'm or do you make always, stuff yourself? Or? I make stuff myself. My husband's an excellent cook and, oh, nice. you know, he, he was, he's a retired firefighter or paramedic now, but he was the cook at the station wow. whenever he was on duty. So he and his family used to have an Italian restaurant called Marafino's, but his family Wait, is always... an Italian restaurant named Marafino's? No way. Yes. In is that Irish? <laughs> No, that's awesome. Very good. So, but, so we both like to cook and he's probably a better cook than I am, but I like to, you know, keep things as healthy as possible. And what's big as, you know, now that I'm in my forties, what's big for me is food that causes inflammation. So that's oh. what, that's where I focus now. It's not just, you know, I thought I ate healthy until I really focused on getting rid of foods that cause inflammation in my body, you know, not for everybody, but in my body, because everybody sure. is different. What foods were those? Um, for me, it's really dairy, sugar. I don't Sorry. do well with sugar, and I, I don't do well with <laughs> pesticides, MSG, oh. you know, gotcha. stuff that you really didn't realize was in your food, maybe, <laughs> <Feel ya. laughs> until you start looking into it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I add turmeric to like everything now. Um, yeah. I found that really helped out as well as uh, shizandra berries and some CBD. It's just really helped out mm -hmm. my inflammation. Um, right. Okay. So if I'm out networking or we're listening to here, what, what kind of keys am I listening for when I'm out? Maybe when we're out able to press flush again, you know, and meet people and right. go networking because we're just in full disclosure, people are still like, I think we're like day 9,280 of quarantine. <laughs> um, but if I'm talking to somebody, how do I know if they were a good prospect, contact, connection or someone that I need to refer to, to reps by Carrie? I'm really looking for someone who is ready to change. You know, a lot of people say they want to change, but they're not in the headspace to change it. So I'm really looking for somebody. What I mean by that is someone who knows they need to change, wants to change and is ready to do the work. Okay. And maybe doesn't know where to start, needs accountability, which I think is helpful to all of us. Absolutely. I think that's where a lot of people fall off is, you know, you can't just give somebody a meal plan and say, okay, see you later. You know, they right. really yeah, need accountability. Have yeah, because they kind of run out of that passion, if you will, right. you know, or like you even said, like, they start seeing results, and they think they can coast, and they really need exactly. to, that's the time they may need even to ramp it up a little bit, right? Right, right, and that's what I found in my experiences, you know, that's really when you want to coast, and you're like, well, I've been so good for so long, now I could just back off, and that's where you just really fall off, right. and get into trouble, I think, so right. that's really and, where you need to tighten it up a little bit. So, okay, so you're a trainer and when you're first starting to work with a prospect or a, a client or even a prospect as you come in what kind of secret sauce do you use to help find their blind spot because all of them has their blind spot right you know they right you know they looking to lose fat or they're looking to gain muscle what now like what do you what's your technique to find the the client's blind spot i think it's just digging deeper you know when you ask somebody what they want the first two or three things that they tell you are never really what they want. <laughs> you have to dig <laughs> that down. That is awesome. You right. know, they, they'll say, oh, I want this. I want to look sexy. I want to look hot. I want to be fit. No, right. <laughs> that's not what they There's want. There's a root you know, cause they... for that, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so you're, what you're saying is you're asking like really super powerful questions to them mm -hmm. to make them almost embarrassed to tell you because they haven't told anybody except right. maybe their own I mean, that's that's awesome that you said that because that's right. true. you got to dig and you're you not dig into each other. why they want that and right. you know, with digging you know deeper and deeper as to why right then you'll get to what's really going on that, that's amazing because you lived those whys like a couple different whys when you went right. through the stuff right i mean right. from training before and it's funny you told the story about someone drug you along to lift weights like when i was in the navy i was a really skinny guy you know when I first went in I was great with what I did in my operations that I did but the, they drug me to the gym for my first weightlifting workout and they had the bar and I couldn't bench press it that wouldn't even push me the most <laughs> it was it was nuts but no I, I appreciate that you sure yeah shared that journey so to you what makes a great trainer a great leader a great coach 
I think someone who listens but adapts to the person they're working with. Wow. You know, you can't just say this works for all my clients and it's going to work for you. You really need to listen to what they're telling you and how their body's responding. And wow. it's really teaching them to recognize that in their own body. You know, I do a lot with intuitive eating and sure. just figuring out. It took me a while to figure out what foods were bothering me. I was eating all these foods that really cause inflammation and do, my body doesn't agree with, but I didn't know it. My until you tune you into your body, your body's like, oh, that's fine. It, this is how everybody feels. You know, I, I, I love it when people ask me, oh, what do you take for pain? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? <laughs> you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be in pain yeah, really all day be long, pain. every day. You know, so, and you shouldn't be sore all the time. Yeah, you should have a workout that makes you sore every once in a while, but you shouldn't be walking around sore and in pain and right. you know, having a tough time getting out of bed. If you are, then you need to change something. Yeah, absolutely. And you have to listen to your body. So when people leave you for the day for your workout, what do you kind of say to them to make them because grit is a monotonous activity. Like you and I have grit. A lot of my listeners have right. grit. A lot of people out there have grit. So what do you do to help them instill that grit inside them? So when they leave you and they're on their own accountability, I know you're kind of on their ass a little bit, right? <laughs> but it's like, what do you kind of I am kind of bossy them? sometimes, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's <laughs> but okay, they're though. on their own. And, you know, what I tell them is you have to prepare. Okay. You know, you know you're going to be out on the road when we could go out for meetings and things. Prepare your food or have a Love plan. It. If you know you're going to a restaurant and, oh, my gosh, you have to pick something off the menu, look at the menu ahead of time. Already have your plan. Right. Don't, you know, be deer in the headlights and, oh, I'll have the French fries. You know, <laughs> you can't, you <laughs> fries can't do great. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it's not, it's not easy to pick out something that's healthy all the time, you know. But if you plan, it can be, you know, very simple. Absolutely. I 100% I agree across the board. So like you, you've heard, you listen to some of my shows. So we're in our DeLorean with Marty McFly. We're going back to meet the 22 year old Carrie. I don't know what your maiden name is. So that Carrie. <laughs> and what do you, what kind of knowledge nuggets are you dropping on her to help her level up earlier? And let's things that you wish you might've known then that you know now, what kind of stuff are you telling her? Um, I was in a really unique spot at 22. I was traveling all around the world at that point. Mm -hmm. So I think what I, my, what I would tell myself is that to really, what I worked on then was my connections with people and that was great. But I think what I could have benefited even more from was seeing where I actually was and, you know, enjoying not just working all the time, enjoying the places that I went to because I was always traveling for work. Wow. And it was stressful, but I think taking more me time and downtime instead of just running, running, running and not getting to see the countries, you know, in their entirety. So maybe me getting more mindful than mindful, like right. full of shit. If you will. Yeah, it you was know? busy, busy, yeah. busy all day long until you pass out, wake up early, do it again the next day. You know, Why did you was... grind like that? Was there something you had to prove or it was just in your innate nature to grind like that? Or why did you do that? I don't know. I think a lot, a lot of it had to do with the, the countries that I traveled to. That was just their culture. You know, they ate, they didn't even go into a restaurant until 10, 11 o'clock at night. So you didn't get home <laughs> until, right. you know, if, if you're having a great meeting and everything, you know, they took their time at dinner and, you know, you didn't get home till one or two in the morning sometimes. And it was, that, that was an adjustment for me because you know, I was used to eating way later or way earlier and they wouldn't even, you'd go to a restaurant, try to get something to eat early and they weren't even open. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> so I remember that was Argentina, they didn't even open until one, two in the morning. One, yeah. two in the morning. Yeah. Wow. And they had the best steaks in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what, okay, you, you've did a lot of things between your younger days and now you've accomplished a ton and you're and you're rolling and you're just you're more momentum's building 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 but what's the big the big thing that carrie marafina wants to accomplish i think the big thing since i had um i had children later <laughs> i was lucky enough to do all the travel and all the fun and everything first 
and I waited a long time to meet the right person. Um, and I had my, my daughter at 40 and my son at 36. So I think what really drives me, Scott, is my children. Gosh. And my whole reason for being and being healthy is so that I can be here for them and see them have kids and be here to guide them. And that's, that's really my why. Right. With that, all this, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to have a heart attack or get cancer or something at an early age because they still need me. Right. That's amazing. And then you're such a go-giver in that you've accomplished, like, like you said, you, like you kind of said, you know, factually, you've lived life, life in reverse where you did all this right. stuff that people really wait, but the way you're keeping yourself in shape, unless, you know, the man upstairs has a different plan from you to take you right. a certain way, you're going to be healthy by the time they're rolling off to college, maybe in your fifties and you're still rocking life. You know, that's, right. that's amazing. That, that was a great answer for that. It was the kids. Um, so with that being said, then, you know, we talk about the dash here at Time to Shine today all the time. You have your life date, your death date, and that dash. So how do you want that dash to remember, be remembered? Maybe that epitaph. Like, how do you want that you to be remembered? Just that I enjoyed life to the fullest and really got out and went after what I wanted and spent time with the people I love. You know, really that I didn't leave any stone unturned. You lived, L-I-B-I-N. Mm -hmm. I love right. that. So then, what's your definition of a life well lived? I think for me personally, it would be well lived if my, I tell my kids this all the time, my job is to make sure they're problem solvers and they can figure stuff out on their own, even though I'm here to guide them, but I don't want to tell them how to do it. I want to help them know how to do it on their own, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Um, so I think if they could be, you know, givers, kind, caring, and know how to figure things out and help people along the way, I think that would be a life well lived. And that just goes right along with your reps, your recipe, education, product support. Recipe does not have to mean food. It could just right. be an instruction manual part for life. So you want to pay forward to your children to say, listen, I'm not going to tell you how to do it, but I'm going to give you the reps to be able mm -hmm. to figure it out by yourself. Am I saying that maybe kind of keep yeah. you up with your life well lived? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I love that. What we're, we're kind of the same age. So what album, what music blew your mind when we were kids? You want to know my first concert? Sure. <laughs> uh, George Thorogood. No way. Bad to the bone, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was Sean Cassidy. I don't know if you're. Oh, remember. I really wanted that satin jacket with him on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Bell Bottoms, Sean Cassidy. That is hilarious. That's hilarious. So if you were, you've heard the, me ask this before, but if you take your cell phone, computer, everything out of it, what are three things Carrie can't live without? Let's see. I can't live without my exercise okay. or meditation, you know, some form of self care as far okay. as, the, you know, my mental health and movement. Um, I can't live without my family and my writing Gosh. and creativity. Yeah, folks, so. make sure you get over to the blog. Go to CarrieMarafino.com. It'll be in the show notes and click on blog. Her writing is just off the charts. And she really uh, made sure she critiqued the book cover of, of Level <laughs> Up. It's your time to shine. It's coming out. It's great because uh, everything she said made sense. And now the publisher loves it. So thank you very much, Carrie. You're welcome. Send me your invoice. <laughs> <laughs> so as we kind of wind down into our Level Up lightning round, you and I could talk for 15, 20 minutes on each one of these topics, but you got five seconds to answer them. And they're super easy. All I just need is the first thing that comes to your mind. You ready? I'm ready. All righty. What's the best leveling up you've ever received? Red leveling up advice you've ever received? Oh, let's see. I have five seconds, really. No. <laughs> or <best>. three. <laughs> <laughs> the best advice would be to have no expectations when I'm going into a situation. Gotcha. And what I mean is don't think, oh, it's, this is how it's going to go down. Just be open. Love that. Let it happen. Love, love, love that. Share one of your personal habits that contributes to your success. One of my personal habits that contributes to my success is having a plan, but Planner. being flexible. 
plan, but flexible. Love that. So my plan includes being flexible. <laughs> you know, if it doesn't go according to plan, adapt. <laughs> right. No expectations. You adapt and overcome. Yeah. You know, you know what you want. You see the goal. You, you rock it. I love that. Other than your own website, carriemarafino.com, and of course, time to shine today.com. Of course. Which, you know, it's shameless plug. Recommend another internet resource that Carrie likes to go to to level up. Um, I really love um, The Gift of Adversity. Wow. By Marcus okay. Aurelius Anderson. Okay. Um, he's a podcaster as well, is an author, TEDx speaker. Um, Does he kind of speak from the Stoic view or? He was in the he was in the military like you. He was in the army, and he was paralyzed while preparing to deploy. Oh yeah, yeah. You told me about him. Excellent. But he's really all about. You would love him because he's really all about finding your purpose. Love it. And going after it. Kerry, recommend not the flavor of the week, not what you're reading now, or if you even read, or even like a book on tape, recommend that one that if, if you just met me and I'm in the doldrums, you're like, Scott, read this, it'll, it'll change your life. What book? Let's see. I really like, um, you're going to laugh if I, if I tell you this. No. <laughs> one, of, one of my favorites, and I think it works for adults as well, mm -hmm. is The Giving Tree. Oh my gosh, Michelle Michelle Silverstein. Silverstein. That's right here. my absolute favorite. Yeah. And that's... also, I'm having a kid's theme today, sorry. Look. But the Tao Look. of Pooh. <laughs> is it showing up? There it is. I see the it. giving tree. Yep. Oh, absolute I have it literally favorite. right here. It's on my, yeah. it's on, I have all the Dr. Seuss, everything. Sometimes I'll read that. Yep. That's and the awesome other one is the that. Tao of Pooh. Oh yeah. That one? <laughs> Love it. Love it. Yeah. Um, your favorite charity and organization you'd like to support? Uh, Rotary International. Beautiful. If you could be one age for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh boy, that's a good one. For me, <laughs> that's tough. I would say about 34 to 42 in there, but I don't know. I think it's that's a great to age. It's tough Excuse to me. pick. All right, last question. It, it keeps getting better, so I don't I know. know. right? You don't I'm know. opening up the window. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best decade of music, Carrie? 60s, 70s, 80s, or 90s? 80s. Yep, we were definitely hanging out some more. <laughs> there you go. I love it. So, Carrie, where can we find you? You can find me on Instagram at kmarafino. I'm very active on there. And you can go to my reps group on Facebook. It's reps by Carrie. Okay. And tell us about your 31 days free workouts. Oh, so with all this that's going on and we're stuck in our homes and, you know, after – wondering what am I going to do for workouts I and everyone else is in the same boat I created 31 days of free workouts that anyone can do all levels no weights required of course you can add them if you want but I don't even mention them it's okay. all body weight stuff um, they're based off of powerful words okay so you get your powerful word for the day and your workout and you know a nice quote how can and they find that or are you putting that together for people? That's, we can put it in the show notes, but it's on uh, carrymarafino.com slash 31 days of workouts. Love it. Love it. Awesome. So, Carrie, leave us with the squad and listeners with one last knowledge nugget that you want them to take with them, internalize, and live. I think the most important thing as far as getting healthy and being fit is, one, to start – and if you mess up, to be very gentle on yourself and start wow, over. That's powerful. That's strong. Did you hear that, squad? Start, and if you're going to fail, fail forward. And just know you gain that extra yard as you're failing. Don't be hard on yourself. But get up, bootstrap, bite down your mouthpiece, and keep going, right? Correct. Yeah, Love just that. start again. And, and squad, you've just had a powerful, powerful knowledge nuggets dropped on you by my really good friend, Carrie Marafino. No, don't forget to check out everything in the show notes. There are 31 days of free workouts is in there. She, for someone that saw herself in a lot of her clients, she's able to be able to pull them forward and always level up. She always listens and adapts to the person she works with. She doesn't cookie cutter them. So if you do work with Carrie, know that you're going to get that Ritz Carlton types of service. She's always preparing, whether it's her food, her life, her children, her husband, what now? She's always preparing for greatness, and she always wants you to pay for it in, in to be a problem solver. She wants you to always 
move forward and be open-minded with no expectations, but always grind and grind forward. Carrie, you level up your health, you level up your wealth, you are phenomenal, you're humble, you're hungry, and thank you so, so much for coming on the show today. Thank you, Scott. It's been a pleasure. Awesome.